Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. So thinking of gift ideas every year can be fun if you do it early enough. You get to get out and shop for people you like. Hopefully these are people that you like. But thinking of gifts can also be daunting because you have to think of something that person will enjoy. It's especially difficult when that person is known to be a little picky and there isn't anything left in the store but a pair of shoes that are two different sizes. That's why I shop for something I think they'll personally enjoy instead of something that's expected, if that makes any sense. Like, if I know you're a shoe collector, I won't buy you a pair of shoes. I'll buy you a display case to display those Manolos or your prize sneakers. Even though I would probably still get you a new pair of Manolos, <laughs> but that's besides the point. Gifting doesn't have to be difficult, so this year I'm going to give you some recommendations for that fragrance lover in your life, or if you're gifting to yourself, hey, I'm all for it. These are just a few ideas to help get you in the mood of thinking of something memorable and lasting for the person you're gifting to. There's nothing quite like getting something that's unexpected that shows careful consideration of who you are as a person. I love that feeling. This first idea doubles as a unique decor piece. It's the porcelain match strikers from Jonathan Adler. This brand has great home fragrances, but the decor pieces are incredible as well. Any of these match strikers would make fantastic, thoughtful options for anyone who's into home fragrances. Candles more specifically. It's a great way to have matches readily available for when you need one and how Jonathan Adler has the match holder incorporated into the design. It's a nice touch. I have the mohawk match strike and the matches are placed on top to make it appear that it has a mohawk. A very fun, unique touch in my opinion. And there are other great options as well to make it more personal. Like if that person loves ice cream, squirrels, elephants, there's even a match strike as a pipe. It's a small gift that goes a long way by adding a little something extra to the decor of the home with form, function, and style. The size of these strikers are quite small, so I found that smaller matches works the best with them. Long matches wouldn't look particularly good in my opinion. I've honestly never used it as a striker for matches, only because I prefer the clean porcelain look. For me, it makes a great looking match holder. But it doesn't even have to be for matches. I've seen people put toothpicks in them, even cotton swaps for the bathroom. There's many creative things you can do. And it's a great conversation starter, believe it or not. It really stands out on a coffee table or credenza. It's an all around unique creative way to hold matches. You can even pair it with this next gifting idea. And that's a good wig set. This usually contains the wick trimmer, the wick snuffer, and my favorite, the wick dipper. I always mention the importance on wick maintenance and how these different tools just makes it so much easier. Yes, you could use other things like scissors or fingernail clippers, but will you really have them sitting out on a coffee table next to your luxury candles or coffee table books? So if you know someone who could benefit from the use of a good proper wick set, this will make a great holiday gift. I will continue to talk about the importance of these different tools because they really made a difference in how I care for my different candles. From the inexpensive to the very expensive, it doesn't matter. A wick set is always a good idea. After a few uses, I couldn't even imagine myself without them. The wick trimmer is for keeping that wick at one fourth of an inch. I honestly just eyeball it to make sure the burnt buildup on top of the wick is cut. No need to get technical. The wick snuffer and dipper serves the same purpose, the only difference is the snuffer causes smoke. It's perfect for taper candles in my opinion, but 10 times out of 10, I'm reaching for the wick dipper every single time. It's not only a smokeless option, it doubles as something that you can use to recenter the wick if it drifted off a little to one side. It's my absolute favorite tool for wicks. Dip it and forget it. You can technically blow out the candle, but why cause unnecessary smoke? And sometimes there's still a little glow from the wick while it's still burning as it goes out, which can cause the wick to be too short. A wick set is another way to bring other elements into a space that looks great and also serves a purpose. It shows you know a little something about candles. And for the people that come over and ask questions, you can explain the purpose of each one perfectly. A fantastic gift idea for candle lovers that doesn't have a wig set yet. And there are plenty places that carry wig sets. Amazon is definitely a go-to, but almost any department store that sells candles should theoretically carry wig sets. I'll make sure to link the wig set that I have from Amazon below. It includes all three tools. For this next idea, we are taking it to the car because most people spend a lot of time in and out of cars. And there are some people who go the extra mile to make sure it's spotless and smelling good at all times. I am some people. 
Even if my car is a little dusty on the outside, the interior has to stay clean and smelling good with an addicting fragrance. I mean, it only makes sense. If I invest in fragrances for myself and my home, my car has to have that same treatment as well. And receiving a luxury car fragrance as a gift is something most fragrance lovers wouldn't think of, shockingly. Some people aren't even aware that there are luxury car diffusers that you can buy. It'll be a really nice surprise and after they put it in their car, I'm telling you, they wouldn't even be able to remember what they used to use. Especially if they have a luxury car, they should also have a luxury car fragrance, even though Mercedes comes with fragrance that blows through the ventilation system. Now, that's another level of luxury. Some high-end candle brands I personally enjoy has car diffusers that's worth looking into. My favorite at the moment is still Diptyque's diffuser with the 34 Boulevard scent insert. I'm not even joking. Every single person that has gotten into my car was impressed with how good it smelled. I even shocked myself a few times. I will link that review in the description if you want to know more about it. Joe Malone also has great options as well. And Aqua de Parma is a bit more luxury with that leather case and they have more scent options to choose from. That will be the next car diffuser I try. But for now, the Dip T car diffuser is everything. Any car person will find this to be a phenomenal gift. And plus, they wouldn't even have to buy the entire case again. Just the refills that last 3-4 to four months depending on the usage. I'm going to tell you now, I had the vent wide open with the Diptyque diffuser when I got in and when I got out I just made sure to close them again. I can admit it lasted for the full 4 months and I was still smelling remnants for another 2 months after that. I have a coupe so how long it lasts could vary depending on the size of the car as well. If you have someone that prefers the rear view mirror car scents or if they're getting their first car as a gift and you want to make sure it smells amazing. Then I will look into PF Candle Co. and Guy Fox for their car scents. I really enjoy both brands and they last up to 6 weeks. Teakwood and Tobacco from PF is incredible, of course, it's one, it's one of my favorite scents. And PCH from Guy Fox is another great option. It really smells like cologne for the car. If you can't tell, I love a good car fragrance. These are definitely some incredible options, perfect for car lovers. I'll sit here all day talking about cars. Let's get to the next gift idea. We were not going to have a conversation on gifting ideas without the mention of candles. What kind of home fragrance curator will I be if I didn't mention candles? Candle bundles or sets, whatever you want to call them, is a great idea for any candle lover. Maybe you know someone who loves fragrances, but their home, it needs a little love. Or any candle collector will love a good bundle any time of the year. Another good idea is getting a set and using the candles as stocking stuffers. A candle scent that goes along with that person's personality. Bundles are also like an introduction to a brand because they usually put their best sellers together. And they would usually be votive sizes or minis. Think of it like a discovery set for fragrances. You can find all kinds of different candle bundles from luxury brands. Especially around this time of year, there's a plethora of bundles. However, the closer we get to mid-December, Christmas, the more popular they get, thanks to the last minute shoppers. I'll give you a few of my favorites that I've come across recently. PF Candico has a few different sets to choose from. I would personally choose the set with the teakwood and tobacco scent in it. You can never go wrong with anything from PF. Sear to Dawn also has a gift set where you can pick three scents of your choice. I love the customization on that. And if you want to talk about bundles, Boy Smells has an amazing assortment of many different options. Their Kush scents are very popular and all four come in a bundle together in votive sizes. Malin and Getz, it's another favorite of mine and they have a votive candle set with amazing scents. Dark rum, leather and cannabis, perfect for cold weather. This is off topic but did anyone see that Malin and Getz have the dark rum scent in what they call a super candle? For the longest time they only had one size candle and now they have a super candle. I'll tell you what. I am all in on anything from this brand. Anyways, these are just a few ideas of some bundles that will make thoughtful gifts for any candle lover. While they're still in stock of course, these are also bundles that I will love. It feels like I'm making this a holiday wish list for myself. A fantastic idea that you can do with family or friends is getting an advent calendar. It's something that you can do daily in person or FaceTime. Some advent calendars are very costly so if you're doing it with friends, maybe you can all pitch in and just separate the gifts out at the end. 
a luxury experience you get to do with the people closest to you. You can sort of turn this into a yearly tradition. I may or may not have an advent calendar on the way. Who knows? And not every brand does an advent calendar. I wish more brands like Trudon made one, but for the few that does offer one for the holiday season, makes it feel a little more special. At least some calendars. Does anyone remember the infamous Chanel advent calendar from last year? I remember a lot of people being upset that it wasn't up to par. And that's why we're sticking to candle brands. At least I know I'll get something I like and can actually use. And not that I'm interested in a Chanel advent calendar. Here's a few calendars that I've come across recently that you may be interested in. Diptyque has a pretty incredible calendar. Costly, but the value was there because of Diptyque sense, of course. Definitely worth it if you're a lover of Diptyque and you never had one of their calendars before. Joe Loves actually has one as well. I love this concept of the House of Cards. This one also costs a pretty penny, but if you want more fragrances over candles, this is a good option. Apotheki is one of the more affordable options. There is a 12-day option along with the full 25-day calendar. I'm a fan of Apotheki scents, so this is right up my alley. And as you may know, there are beauty brands that has advent calendars as well. Whatever you're interested in, I think it'll make a good tradition for family and friends to see what you get each day of December. This last gift idea is probably the most important thing that you can get someone who burns lots of candles, and that's getting them the largest roll of aluminum foil to deal with candle tunneling. I'm joking, I'm just joking. As long as the wick is maintained, a candle should burn even Theoretically, there are times where I have to reach for aluminum foil because a stubborn part of the wax doesn't want to melt. Anyways, this is going to be an exciting holiday season I get to spend with all of you. Hopefully this conversation will get some ideas going on what you can do for the fragrance lovers in your life. Let me know if anything I may have missed and I'll probably do a part two as we get closer to the holidays.